Hey what's up everyone this is Wicked Android HD and tonight I have the honor and the pleasure to show you the latest update from CR Droid uh, 6.0.1 Marshmallow and it was released on 23rd of January 2016 running a kernel made by uh, the maintainer of the the XDA thread on uh, you know forum.xda developers.com um, GGQ I'm sorry if uh, I don't know how to pronounce it uh, thumbs up from him for him and if you don't know how to flash this on your Galaxy S4 please watch my universal how to flash any kind of ROM on uh, your Galaxy S4 there's a card right there which shows you which will bring out the video it, the tutorial that will show you how to flash any kind of ROM on your Galaxy S4 okay so this review, in this review, we're gonna be taking a look at uh, uh, how fast and how smooth it is, how customizable it is, and how um, the battery life is like. So at the beginning of this video, I need to show you the battery percentage, which is uh, 39, approximately 57 minutes left. 39%. So. I'm just showing you guys that in order to make sure you uh, kind of make an idea on how fast this battery, the battery, the battery drains out on this ROM. So let's get into the customization part. Since it is a CM ROM, it benefits of themes, okay, which are here. It's a, an application called Themes, and you could get tons and tons of themes from. Uh, from Google Play Store. I'm not gonna get into this because I like how it looks right now. With this beautiful wallpaper, it makes a great combination. Okay, let's get into the extra settings, extra features uh, from Sierra Droid. And we're gonna get into buttons first. Enable on screen navigation bar, which is this navigation bar from you know borrowed from Nexus devices from those devices who don't have uh, um, you know physical buttons and uh, we're gonna be disabling them disable them we're gonna disable them because I don't really like them uh, backlight button you know wake up device answer call long press uh, the home button, you know, the action that uh, is done by long pressing the home button, recent tap switcher, so like this, this is the recent tap panel. Okay, so this is uh, what buttons uh, category does. Recent panel, sorry. Let's get into recent panel, show search bar in recent menu. I couldn't find it and I think it's because of the gaps that I have flashed. These are slim gaps and, uh, you know, actually Pico gaps. And uh, you know it doesn't. I don't think it benefits of a uh, Google search bar. But if you download the Google application from the market, you I think you'll be able to see it right here. You know, clear all recent button. This is the button here, which clears all the applications. Um, the positioning of it, and the RAM memory bar, which shows you how much uh, you know free ROM you have left. 1 gig of free RAM, it is cool. Uh, okay, and Omni Switch Recents. Um, okay, and you have to configure it, you, of course, you can enable it. And this is the Omni Switcher, which will allow you to switch back and forth between the apps. And you have here a more detailed, you know, recent app panel. Should allow you to switch back and forth to kill some apps like this, or to get again into the app that you were in. Set up your SD card. Okay, and all settings here. On the switch, I don't use, actually use it, but you know it's cool if you do. Screen animations, those animations, you know what this does. And status bar tweaks, network traffic. Outgoing and incoming. This is the status bar traffic monitor. Status bar icons. You can deactivate whatever you want. If you don't want your Wi Fi to be there, you can deactivate it. If you don't want your battery to be there, if you don't want your cellular data, 
like this to be there you can deactivate it okay clock style i like it to be in center like this date date style date format battery status style you can choose from different you know like uh, circle these are the default settings that come with uh, any cm rom a quick pull down you know if you slide from here you'll get all the notifications and so on um, custom header image okay this is really interesting because you'll get this kind of uh, of image showing you, you know kind of the it is kind of related to the time you're you're browsing to your phone so it's uh, eight o'clock and it should be sunset it is really cool if you ask me like this you know yeah really really cool okay and i'm gonna be stick i will stick to that quick pull down see your droid logo which is this one here super user indicator force expand notifications disable immersive mode this will hide all immersive mode okay transparency header transparency as you may see you can customize the transparency of your you know notification uh, bar let's see how it looks with transparency set to zero it should actually be transparency 100% since it is transparent okay this is how it looks like <laughs> yeah it looks kind of strange in the dark also but yeah this is how it looks like <laughs> if you want transparency as fuck okay status bar let's make it again as it was okay so these are the main features that come with this rom uh, you can customize it by going into themes um this is what i really need on my uh, cm rom so i will give it a 10 out of 10 because it's not blow it up it has what you need so um, by browsing through all of the customization part you were able to see you know um how fast uh, applications uh, open up and i will show you how fast it you dial number like this and how it looks when you receive a message the notification bar will you know hide when you receive a message and it really looks cool you know and appear again um let me show you the lock screen also so this is the lock screen of the steer droid marshmallow cm13 based you know slide like this to open uh, the phone app slide like that to open the new google camera this is how it looks like you know i reviewed it a couple of uh, reviews before actually i think in, the in my latest review or not yeah maybe i know okay so yeah that's pretty much it about your droid rom in terms of performance i would rate it a strong 9 out of 10 because i have noticed some lags and uh, yeah um of course if we get here you may you are able to edit the tiles you can add as many tiles as you want from here you have a bunch of different tiles synchronization usb tethering um, battery mode so if you click done and then uh, you can change back and forth between efficiency balanced quick and performance if you get if you get performance I think you will max out your gpu and cpu and everything will work you know blazing fast as you may see a blazing fast operating system so yep that's pretty much it let me show you the battery life because um, i gave a strong 9 out of 10 in terms of performance 10 means perfect for me so yeah it's not that perfect but it's uh, you know decent um battery life battery life let's get into battery life it was 39 percent at the beginning of the video as you may see it's 36 30 i think it's 35 percent right now yeah it's really hard to manipulate behind the camera but it's 35 percent 
approximately one hour and one, one minute left okay and that's pretty much it the update this is the update of tier droid marshmallow 13 if you like my video please make sure you thumbs up and subscribe right down to my channel by doing so you'll keep me motivating doing this kind of stuff this kind of reviews this, this kind of tutorials and thank you for watching guys wicked android is out bye bye